Hey, what's up, you guys? Craft Farms here. Welcome back to Edgewater, Saskatchewan. As you can see, we are sitting here uh, just finishing up with the baling of our flax straw. Uh, I did already sell two loads uh, of everything off our headlands. Um, so, we're going to get let this guy finish up here, and then we're going to empty out this baler. And, uh, let's see here, unload baler, why? Okay. So, we got a total of 50 bales. Uh, I could not figure anything out with the 560 baler on the flax straw. So, went ahead and got this John Deere 600. And then we got this, uh, is it an Anderson, I believe? I think it's an, a yeah, Anderson TSR 3450. And like I said, I did sell two loads already, but we still got a few loads to go. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to work on making some money. And then we're going to look at potentially buying a couple of fields uh, to get ready for next season. Uh, kind of thinking if we get a decent amount of money off of this, we'll use this money to... Um, oh, hold on one second. All right. Sorry about that. Got a uh, phone call from the boss there, so. So we're going to go ahead and uh, get these picked up. But um, what I'm kind of thinking we're going to see, uh, what we're going to try and do here, is we're going to see how much money we get. Uh, it's been about close to $13,000 a load uh, with the environmental uh, boost or bonus, whatever you want to call it. And then, because the bonus has been about $500, and then we've been getting about $12,400 and some dollars uh, per load. So it's pretty close to... 13,000 so if we can get a couple more loads uh, then hopefully we can look at picking up another field I did go back and look at BC Bueller's video on kind of the best crops to grow um, corn and oats are the two highest yielding uh, corn, oats, barley, and sunflowers are the four best crops. So what I'm kind of thinking, we're going to look um, after today. We are going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to give one of the logging companies in the area a phone call and get a price estimate from them on what they would charge to clear out all these trees and then we're gonna have to go ahead and get uh, in contra in contact with one of the excavating companies as well and see what they would charge us for uh, leveling out some of this area and then we can get our plow out and uh, we'll be able to combine uh, the north and south sections of field one as well as being able to combine field 51 I believe it is or is that field 50 51 uh, we'll be able to combine field 51 into that as well and uh, we'll have a very decent field uh, so kind of what I'm thinking uh, if we can get that done then what we're gonna do is Field one, we're going to put uh, corn, and then we're going to put uh, 
something else over in field 50 and then we'll see what kind of other fields we get I think what we're gonna try and do is run corn and oats this next season just to kind of try and get uh, the most money that we can next year because um, if we take a look here corn and sunflowers or corn and oats sorry oats they sell for about $33 in January and corn is 42 in June so I wish we had some corn now but uh, we'll uh, get to that point so I think that's kind of what we're gonna look at doing uh, and then with the oats too we can always rent a uh, baler and we can bale the straw and uh, get a little bit of extra cash out of it so we're sitting at eighty seven thousand eight hundred and seventy seven dollars right now uh, so we should be at a about a hundred thousand with this load a little over a hundred thousand so we should be sitting fairly good then Definitely a little bit of a trek down here to this cell point. You can see we are also going to have to uh, fill this tractor up with some diesel fuel once we uh, get done with it here. So I think we got about one more load worth of bales back in the field. It's not quite going to be a full load. So the... Whew, excuse me. The uh, cell point is back here. Behind the building, so... About there should be good and get this unloaded so 85,987 I was not paying attention I don't even know what came out there ninety eight thousand nine hundred so we got twelve thousand four hundred and eight for the bales and then a five hundred and three dollar uh, environmental score reward which let's go ahead and take a look here our environmental score is 64 so we're not doing too bad uh, on everything here so can't complain too bad about that We're going to go ahead and we're going to run up and go get the last of our bales and get those sold. And then we'll be around 100,000. And I did kind of already take a look um, at some fields. Kind of thinking 
Uh, so we got field 17 is 37,000 and field 18 is 63,000. So I think we might be able to get those two fields, but the only thing is that it's going to take up a good chunk of our money. Um, now let's look here. So this is 17 and 18. Um, so we could also rent those two fields. They'd only be a couple hundred bucks a day. So we may look at that, uh, and that would get us fields 9 and 10 here. Um, let's see at what field 7 would be. That is land 5. So this would be 955 a day. So we could also look into getting a field like that. Um, how about 2 and Three. That is ten and twelve. Three twenty-four and six fifty-one. So I think we might look at uh, leasing those two fields. Um, I think, yeah, we're gonna look at leasing fields two and three, and then either nine or ten, and then we'll probably buy one of the fields I think is what we're gonna do so I think we'll probably buy field 10 because that one's a little bit cheaper and that'll leave us with some money so I think that's what we're gonna try and do So I think what we'll do is we'll get this last load of bales uh, loaded and sold, and then we'll go ahead and return our rented machines to the dealership. Uh, we could actually go ahead and do the tractor and uh, baler right now. I think we'll uh, do that once we get up here to the field. Decisions, decisions. I would definitely like to expand. But I don't know if I want to quite go to fields that large yet. 9 and 10 both are fairly decent sized. So I think what we might do is we'll buy field 10. And then we'll lease field 9. Because um, they aren't that far from the farm. They're just right over there. On the other side of field 5 there. So, I think that's what we might do. Then we're not racking up huge um, rent bills. And we're not spending all of our money. We're only spending 37000 of it. And then it'll leave us with a fair amount. And then I think what we're going to do is we're going to look at trading off the uh, 9380 and our drill. And uh, we might look at getting a different drill and then a 935 versatile. 
We may also see, just so we can try and uh, use this tractor a little bit more, we might also look into uh, seeing what they have for some cheaper small tractors, uh, maybe like an old international or something like that for running our auger. That would be kind of its only job. Um, that way we don't have to use the 4755 on there. Uh, and we can use this on our grain cart next year. Especially with uh, us doing corn and if we do expand this field and we do this field in corn, we're definitely going to want a grain cart. So, I think that's what we're going to kind of look into uh, doing. And we'll see if we get to it today or not. So, we can go ahead and we can fold this guy back up. We're going to go ahead and return the uh, 8920 and the John Deere 690. Oh, one too many times there. All right. So we'll run this down, and this should put us a little over 100,000. We'll sell this, we'll return the trailer, and then uh, we'll do some pricing out on a new seating setup. The only thing, though, if we do get this new, if we do go with the air seater, uh, then we need to either get a gravity wagon or we need to look at getting a grain truck so that way we can load our seed and fertilizer into it. Uh, if we get a grain truck, we would have to either get two trucks or we would need to look at um, or we'd need to look into a trailer to pull behind it because I don't think our seed tender is quite going to work out for the um, hoppers on the air seeder so and then I think another thing that we're going to do is uh, <clears throat> when it comes time to sell some grain, which we could actually do some moving, I would like to uh, get rid of our three silos there in the yard and uh, look at getting some dirt work done over there and put up another shed. That way, all of our machinery can be inside, um, except for maybe our corn and uh, draper header, unless we pick up a couple of header trailers. Which is quite possible as well. So we are down to a quarter of a tank. So we will need 
just a little bit of fuel in this tractor. And this tractor has definitely gotten a fair amount of use, though, over the year. With uh, spreading and then running our auger and now this bale trailer here. ahead and grab a picture for the thumbnail. So we'll get this sold and then we'll get the uh, trailer here returned. straighter and get our HUD back on here so we got another six thousand two hundred and four dollars and then a two hundred and fifty one dollar reward puts us at a hundred and five thousand three hundred and fifty six dollars now let's go ahead and we're going to return this trailer now all right now let's do a little bit of purchasing here so we're gonna buy field 10 Go ahead and buy that for $37,004. And then we're going to hop up here. So we need is going to be number 18 is what we want to lease. So 18. So it is 3.52 hectares for field 9. And... Hmm. So this actually brings down the price quite a bit. Hmm. So we could also just buy this field. So it's $21,093 there. But if we go here and go to farmland 18 it's 63,000 hmm. so let's go ahead and just lease it so 6,328 yes all right, so now we have 9 and 10. Oh, it's a well up there. Okay, now if we jump back over here to the farm. Oop, forgot that I had that on. So now what I want to do is I want to put... I would like to put a shed back here. So what that's going to involve doing is it's going to require that we take all of these, so our lime, seed, fertilizer, silos, our lime and, or our, no, our liquid fertilizer and our herbicide tanks and sell off all of those. And then we would have to get an excavating company in 
and get all of this leveled out as well. So what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to go ahead and sell off these buildings or our, these silos first. So our lime filling station, $4,409. Let's go ahead and sell that. Uh, seed station is the same amount. And same with our fertilizer. And then we have one of our liquid silos. So these are going to be $22,846 a piece. And then we'll be able to sell this uh, silo here as well. But we are going to have to wait because if I remember correctly, we do have grain in it. Yes, this is where our flax is at. So what we could do is we could take one of these bins and empty it. Uh, probably our lentils bin because that's kind of our emptiest one. Um, and we could sell it. What are lentils currently going for? Because then what we could do is we could take and pull our flax out of that bin and we could um, so it's currently selling for let's see we don't want to mess with the train so hundred and four dollars and seventy six cents at the farmers market which is where So that is up here. Yeah, so we could potentially do that. Um, and then we do want to take this drill and our 9380. And we want to look at trading it off for... Um, we would get... Let's see here. So our current cedar is 12.2. So we want to go a little bit bigger than that. So here is 15.8. So I think this is what we would go with. get it in case I H red. <clears throat> okay, and we suddenly have three million dollars. How did we manage that? Um, land purchase minus 1.277 million. Harvest income, $3 million. Missed, 1.2. So now I'm not sure how we just managed to do that. When we were at 105,000, we spent 37,000. Hmm. Interesting. Well, I will have to kind of edit that money and get it back to where it should be because uh, that's not at all correct of where we should be. So that's what I'm going to do. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get uh, what I will do is I will get these two trailers uh, moved out of our way and I will go ahead and transfer the flax from this bin uh, over into our lentils bin. I will go and sell our lentils and then uh, we'll get rid of that bin. We'll get some crews in here to take care of some trees and some land work 
and uh, see what we can come up with for some more land. Um, before I forget, we do also need to purchase soil maps for our two new fields. Purchase for 2500 uh, $2,537 there. And this one is 1662 So we've got our soil maps now. So I think that's going to do it for today, guys. I'm going to figure out just what happened with our money here and get that sorted out. And then I will uh, get some of this stuff taken care of. And when we come back, we are probably going to jump right into some uh, fall tillage and get a little bit of that done. Um, we'll have to spread some lime um, over these fields. And then we can get a cultivator running and uh, start prepping for next season. So thanks everybody for watching. Hope y'all enjoyed this video and uh, we'll catch y'all tomorrow. Thanks for watching.